My name is Martin Tankliff, and I was wrongfully incarcerated and served 6,338 days in New York State prisons. The first thing I noticed were lights on in my house, the house wasn't locked up, and I ended up walking through my house and discovered my father, who was covered in blood. And I remember saying to them, so, I'll take a polygraph. Like, I didn't do anything, I'll take a polygraph. But that's not what they wanted to hear. That day, they had the ability to electronically record the interrogation, they had the ability to get a stenographer, and they chose not to. So for 17 and a half years, it was, this is what I say happened, this is what they said that happened. How much would it have cost to record the interrogation, even back in 1988? When they say it's too costly, what's more costly, recording an interview interrogation or letting somebody innocent suffer in prison for 10, 15, 20 years? 